Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what is your person on your mind planning to say to you next. And for those of you who like to book a personal reading with me, information is in the description box below. Today is the 23rd of January, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.03 p.m. And this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same earth sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. That person on their mind, what are they planning to say to earth signs next? The moon in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay, your person on your mind, Earth signs. Okay, they're planning to say this to you next, but doesn't mean that they will say it, okay? This is their plan. But, I want, what, but what I'm sensing right here is that, Earth signs, your person is planning to say to you that I think, I think I know that I know that you don't need me. That's what I'm hearing. I, I know that you don't need me because of the Nine of Pentacles here, which is a very independent card and hard find here in my first. It's almost like you've been through it already because hard find is a teacher student dynamics and with it being in my first and the Nine of Pentacles, this, this two combination kind of makes me feel that you don't need to be taught anymore. You don't need to kind of learn anymore because you're already nine. Nine is almost ten. So you're like up there already. So it makes me feel that your person is going to tell you, I know that you don't need me. I know you're independent, but I for once. But I would like to create a certain foundation with you. So number four indicates stability. And it it to me it reminds me of like four legs on a chair so it's stable right with four legs it's more stable than three legs or two legs so i think they may want to say to you that they would like to plan um, for a stable connection with you or stabilize the connection um, and they know that you don't need them because maybe you are an independent thinker Maybe you're an independent person um, and maybe you have everything, almost everything that you need on your own and that you don't need them. But they like to create this foundation with you. The Queen of Swords here in reverse. This could be you as well. Um, who knows? Roles can be reversed. Um, I could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Chris, or Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Or somebody like you are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces here. Can be any sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the Queen of Swords in one verse. But they don't know if you're going to agree to it though. But they will like you to try. Because the Queen of Swords in one verse right now at this moment. Okay, I can interpret it differently. But it really depends on the surrounding cards. It makes me feel like, you know, this queen, queen of swords, which if it's in an upright position, would have been, it's in reverse, but it, when, it, it, when it's in an upright position, it's like a queen who knows what he or she wants, very strict or very stern, has her boundaries, again, doesn't matter the gender, but with it being reverse, they may want you to kind of soften up a little bit okay so they may be planning to say to you why must you why must you 
why must you hold on to these boundaries? Why, why can't you just bend? Why can't you just meet me in the middle with the Three of Pentacles here? Why can't we try and figure something out so that both of us, so that it could benefit both of us, so that both of us could agree to something where we could actually build um, that with cooperation, Three of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here, we could build again a foundation. We could build something big. It's a church, Three of Pentacles. We can compromise, right? And the hangman here, and he can sacrifice. They may want to plan to say to you that either you need to sacrifice something or that they need to sacrifice something in order for this connection to move forward. And the Nine of Wands here in one first, to me, it's like maybe sacrificing this person, this person's original plan or original Mm, who this person is intrinsically because I kind of don't read the Nine of Wands in one verse as a bad card at all because it's on the same row as the Three of Pentacles and the Hangman which the Hangman is a major arcana and it trumps these two minors and the Hangman often indicates sacrifice so sacrifice someone or sacrifice something that you've always believed in i think your person on your mind right now may say six of swords i would like to move towards karma water with you you know the six of swords has three people it could be a person it could be a person with baggages leaving the past behind moving towards crossing the water or moving towards a uh, towards better days so i feel like our signs your person on your mind Maybe planning to say to you that I know you don't need me. I know you have almost everything that you need and you can survive on your own. But I would like to create this foundation with you. I would like to build something with you. And I'm willing to sacrifice something that I've known for a long time. Who I am intrinsically or where I belong or where I came from. I'm willing to sacrifice that so that I could meet you in the middle, so that we could work things out. And Four Pentacles here can indicate, I'm holding on to you, what is left of you, what is left of this connection. And I believe we could continue building or agree to reconcile if both of you are separated, okay? Hmm. Let's see a little bit more. King of Cups in one verse, the Empress in one verse, the Nine of Swords in one verse, the Moon in one verse. I think they're planning to tell you everything, how they feel about you, because the King of Cups in one verse is finally gonna express to you. I think this person is gonna be very vulnerable, and possibly would even cry, or seem very upset when they say this to you, or I wouldn't say really upset, but more so like being vulnerable, putting themselves out there. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Not a sword here is a one first. I think they're gonna come on quite gently. Um, they're not, I think they're gonna pick and choose their words. Cause the not a sword of one first is not, it's, it, it's somebody who wants to really tell the truth. Um, somebody impulsive. But when it's in one first, they try not to be very impulsive, but they're gonna... Uh, I feel like they're gonna say to you in a way where... So that you're not gonna get mad at them. I see them not going to try and be too aggressive. I see them toning down a lot, okay? And being in tune with their emotions. And the Empress here in reverse kind of makes me feel like, again, um, similar to how I know you don't have to take care of me. I mean, you, it's almost like I know you don't have to do this. You don't need me. 
again because the Empress and Nine of Pentacles here makes me feel like for a lot of you Earth signs, you are very independent and you're taking good care of yourself and you don't really want to care for somebody or to invest in anybody else who doesn't serve your highest good. So this person may may be planning to tell you that I know that you, you know, you don't need me and you can take care of yourself and you don't have to take care of me. But I want to make things work. I see them planning to say to you that they want to make things work. Again, Three of Pentacles, compromise, build or rebuild this connection with you and willing to sacrifice certain things about themselves or what they have been believing all this while. The Hierophant of verse again can indicate maybe this person is going going in going towards an unconventional route to in regards to this connection. Something very different. This person is gonna do something out of their character but not in a bad way, yeah? Because Three of Pentacles, it feels like the intention is good. The intention is to actually so that both of you could work things out so that this connection could survive. It's almost like Six of Swords leaving, leaving the shore because maybe wherever you guys were at, or wherever this person was at, may have caused you to say no to them, may have caused you to resent something in regards to them or in regards to this connection in general. All right, our signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to watch more of these videos that I've already posted, um, they're on this playlist. It's called Daily Readings. And I post them every single day, twice a day, with, with different topics and different questions. They're all very up-to-date, because as you already know, I post them every single day. <laughs> and then um, I'll leave you with also another playlist from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. For those of you who like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. I've added a few... Um, a few options yeah for your convenience take care of science hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow bye